New at 11 o'clock, we have all seen something like this happening on the freeways just inches from the back of our car. It's called lane splitting. Well, it may be surprising to you, but California is the only state where this is legal. And 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live. Emily, changes may be coming soon for motorcyclists. That's right, Kimberly. Of course, you just showed us lane splitting is when a motorcyclist goes down in between two lanes of traffic. Well, this bill aims to slow these bikers down. This video from YouTube is an extreme example of lane splitting gone bad. Clearly, the biker speeding and unsafe, and in this case, it does not end well. It often seems really dangerous. California is the only state in the nation where lane splitting is legal. And now a bill in the state assembly aims to put the brakes on motorcycles zipping past much slower cars. If the bill passes, motorcycles would only be able to lane split if traffic is moving slower than 30 miles an hour. And the motorcyclist can only go 10 miles an hour faster than the flow of traffic. That seems reasonable. Uh, I feel that most of the bikers have been in control and I try to keep an eye out for bikers. Bikers will tell you the big danger of lane splitting is often the other drivers. Like in this case, you'll see the white van pulls out in front of it. He walked away from this one. Fans of the practice will tell you lane splitting for the most part is safe and it saves time and gas. I don't have a problem with other people sm uh, splitting lanes. It's just not something I would choose to do if I didn't have to. This is what all lane splitters want to avoid. Watch the guy in the orange bike. Ooh. Oh my God. He was not hurt, but listen to what he told the woman on the other bike with the camera. Sorry. After this, I probably won't, might not even cut the traffic for a while. And the bill looks like it's going to pass in the assembly. After that, it will go to the Senate where they vote on it. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm live in Webster, Emily Valdez, 10 News.